Hello, my name is Eddie Rocks and you are watching the most excellent musical Monster Jam. This is the show that focuses on musical talent here in Savannah and across the coastal empire. This week we're featuring Jason Courtney. Now Jason is part of a musical dynasty. The Courtneys uh, have been around in Savannah for some time, uh, starting with Chuck Sr. And uh, of course Chuck Jr. and Jason are all part of that musical legacy. And we are excited to, uh, to interview him today. Uh, we met up with, with him in his home uh, out in Thunderbolt. And what a beautiful home and we want to thank him for having us in there. So uh, let's go right away to Will Griffiths as he interviews Jason Courtney. Hello, I'm Will Griffiths, and this week's guest on the Monster Jam is Jason Courtney. How you doing, Jason? Hey, man, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Awesome, brother. Have a seat. All right, well, I've known you since you're a very young man. I've known your dad, and uh, tell us the whole story how you started playing music. Well, uh, my dad, Chuck Courtney, um, played music throughout the 70s and 60s. And um, as small kids, me and my brother, he would bring us out to, um, to his gigs, his uh, club jobs, like what, ho Holiday uh, Inn jobs, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Where, and what, yeah, what's some of the places your dad used to play at? I think I saw him at the Holiday Inn. I think I've seen him out at, uh, what was it, the Steakhouses? He used to play all over the place. Yeah, uh, Mary's Steakhouse. Mary's Steakhouse, years ago. Years the years Holiday ago. Inn at the foot yeah. of the bridge. So from an early age, um, singing Elvis songs on stage okay. at the beginning of the show, and then he'd send us back to the hotel room. And that's you and your brother, right? Yep, my brother Chuck Jr. I got you. And he he plays too, right? Yes. Okay. And you two play together? Are you still playing together? Or? We play together um, a small amount. When gotcha. we first started out, we played a lot, but we both ventured into our di own different things. Yeah. As brothers do. Yeah. But we still uh, play together a few okay. times a year. Yeah, both of y'all have great voices. Thanks, man. Um, so what have you got going on musically? What are, you, what are you doing with your music? Well, I've been traveling a little bit, and I've been focusing on my songwriting. Gotcha. Um, I have an album coming out in the spring, hopefully working on it. Gotcha. Um, going to finish it in March. I'm about halfway finished. Uh, all the songs I've written or co-written, uh, there's maybe a couple on there that, that I don't have a hand in, but I'm very honored and proud to put my stamp on them because there's some pretty good songs. I got you. And where are you uh, recording this at? I'm recording it in Nashville. You're doing how many songs? Doing six songs. Doing six songs. What are the name of some of the songs? Well, um, one of my favorites uh, off the album is uh, All About the Getting There. Looking back, I feel a good kind of broken hearted Knowing there's no way to get back there again All about the getting there. It's all about the getting there. That was uh, um, co-written um, by a good friend of mine, Mr. Jared Wade. Mm -hmm. Me and Jared play music together. Um, he's from Pooler, Georgia, and he's been living in Nashville for about three or four years now. And how do you, uh, how does your songwriting process go? Do you, how do you come up with your songs? Um, for me, if I by myself, I just pick up my guitar and I find a melody that I like and I strum along. Um, I've been able to be in Nashville and been on some co-writes, and then we all get in a room and you know throw ideas around and just throw ideas around. I got you. I I'm very new in it and I'm learning it and I'm very humbled and honored for the people that I get to write with. Um, I generally never write words first. I always have to play. I have, I have to play something first. Gotcha. You have to hear some music in the yeah. Some I music do first. Yeah. When I'm alone, now if I co-write uh, and somebody throws an idea out, um, I don't even have to pick up a guitar. We can just go back and forth and kind of whether what kind of rhyme it is and yeah. just kind of make a line. But that's about it. Yeah. Where do you play at? Um, when I'm in town, I play down at Wild Wing in City Market. Yeah, I've seen you at Wild Wing yeah. playing. Um, B and D Burgers now. I play there on Congress Street. So uh, those are two of my places. Now, obviously, uh, seasonal, I play at Stingrays on Tybee. And um, I couldn't, couldn't not play at Doc's Bar. So. Could not. I hear you. I Doc's hear you. Bar. Doc's is a favorite you know, bar. Yeah. Okay. So what? You got any upcoming gigs coming up? Or? Um, I actually have a, a couple of band gigs um, this Friday down at um, B&D on Congress Street. Super Bowl weekend. 
we're doing a huge um, Superfest Super Bowl party at Coach's Corner on Victor Drive. Sounds good. What's the name of your band? Uh, this is going to be the Jason Courtney and Hazard County Band. Okay. The original Hazard County guys that I've been playing with for years. I got you. And so you went to school around here too, yes? I actually grew up in Florida. Okay. On a cattle ranch. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I um, moved back here in high school. I, uh, I went to high school in Richmond Hill. Okay. And then I moved out, moved in with my brother out of high school, and we started the uh, Courtney Brothers. Did you and your brother used to play in high school? Did you used to do dances and stuff like that? No, um, I did some talent shows uh, when I first learned to play guitar at about 16 years old. Yep. Um, my brother is a few years older, so he was playing clubs, bars already. There was a place on the south side uh, that was Gallagher's. Yep. That he played there, and um, when I was ready to start playing, he, um, he said, well, let's, let's do a duo. Cool. So we uh, went from there. Well, uh, when you go out, what's, your, what's some of the people that you like to go see when you get a chance to go out? I know that you're busy all the time, you know, when yeah. you're playing. And, I mean, you know, you really don't get a chance to go out that often. But if you get a chance to go out, where do you like to go and who do you like to listen to it? Well, I'll tell you what. I don't get a chance to go out much. Um, when I do or when I did, I would always love to go catch um, Eric Culberson yeah. playing. Awesome. Um, you know, on, on a great Sunday afternoon, I got lucky to see Bucky and Barry in City Market. Yep, I think you used to come see me at Churchill's uh, with Gordon Perry all the time. You, used to, you and your brother used to sit in there and play. Sunday nights, that was probably 20 years ago. Sunday nights, it was 20 years ago. Yeah, awesome. It was a blast. Open jam nights. Open jam nights with Gordon Perry, you couldn't beat it. Yeah, man, Gordon Perry's great. All right, so what do you think about, uh, since you used to play at Churchill's 20 years ago, what do you think about the music scene here in Savannah? Has it picked up? Has it gotten any better? Is it worse? Or what do you think? Uh, it's definitely picked up. It's different. Um, it was, there was a lot of bars back then that I don't remember having music that do now. Um, I remember playing in the Bayou when Chief was around. Um, yeah, and, we love Chief. Yeah, man. Um, as far as that goes, um, Saddlebags, the uh, country bar downtown, <clears throat> it seems to be uh, bringing in some really good acts. Um, I've played there a few times. Oh, the, the old Mercury. The old Mercury, yeah. It's called the Barrel House now. The Barrel House. The Barrel yeah, House. The Barrel House. Um, brings everybody in some loves, great acts. seems yeah. to love the Barrel House. Yeah, the Barrel House brings in some great um, acts. I have not played in the Barrel House, but when my album comes out, I would like to get an opportunity to play in the Barrel oh, House. Oh, I'm sure they'll have you there. So, yeah. Yep, that and the Jinx. I love the Jinx. We played the, the Jinx, Jinx before. Yeah, the Jinx is a great spot. Tell me a little bit more about the songs that you've got out that you're putting on this CD here, right here, the six songs. So, you know, what type of music is it and what do they sound like? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, the very first song that I ever wrote, um, years and years ago, um, song called Shelter. And, um, I, I've been playing the song the same for 15 years or so. And, uh, we brought it into the studio and we put a whole nother twist on it and it turned out great. Shelter is, is basically a love song. I wouldn't say a, a straight up country ballad, but it's a somewhere between country and rock. Gotcha. Just love a good love song. Now there's, there's other songs on my album. There's one called Cowboy Tattoo. Just another mark through somehow I survived it. Should have been done and checked out, no way around it. Another scar, another bruise, another scuff on these boots. Every mistake, bad break, heartache I've been through makes a cowboy tattoo. It's a rock and country song, like a like a you know like a, something Jason Aldean would rock out. Gotcha. Um, you got any keyboards in there? No, I don't. You should have some keyboards in there. Well, I'll take that in consideration. There you go. There you go. Um, then there's there's a few more. There's another ballad uh, on the album called "Don't Wake Me Up," which is a beautiful song. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. Um, All about the getting there, which is the one I was told you. It's it's a it's a good, just just fun song about growing up being a teenager and just hopping in the truck and driving to Panama City and just not caring. Yeah. You know, and that's what these songs that I've either written, co-written, or don't have a hand in, if I don't believe in them, I'm not going to record them. Gotcha. All these songs are stuff that I believe in I have lived at one time or another. Okay. Okay. So the, those, so songs, those songs are you. They express the way you feel. That's They're real. It. There you go. If you hear it, I've done it. You can't ask for more than no. that. There you go. All right, so when you listen to songs, what, what kind of music do you listen to? What kind of music do you like to listen to? You I, listen to rock, you listen to country, you listen to a little bit of both, or what is it? I listen to most everything. Um, 
I don't just do country. I mean, I love uh, George Strait and Garth Brooks. They're probably uh, Garth is one of my my influences as far as the songwriting because it's like the '70s music that I grew up on, like the James Taylor stuff. Yeah, that is a big part of who I am and what I do. And oh, then, that's because your dad did that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Then the '50s and '60s music, what my dad did, I, I love that. That's a part of me. And then there's straight up country music where I grew up on a cattle ranch before I moved back here is where my Randy Travis came from and George Strait. That, so I'm, I'm a pretty good mixture. Okay. Pretty good mixture. All right. Well, we're looking forward to hearing you for sure. Thanks, man. And your brother, is he, is he, do you have a band too? Or is he playing just by himself? He does both. And what's the name of his band? Uh, Chuck Courtney Band. Okay. Okay. And how about your dad? Is he still playing? Uh, my dad still is playing. Um, he um, he travels around. He does a lot of a uh, nonprofit uh, ministry work. Okay. Plays cool. for retirement centers and things like that. Do I still buy music? Uh, yes, um, I do buy music. Um, I buy it online a lot. You know, download it on my phone. But if there's if there's an album that really comes out um, that I really love the artist, I'll buy the CD in the store. I have music on my iPad, which is iTunes. But then on my phone is a droid, so I purchase through Google. Where can they find you online if they'd like to see you playing? As of right now, um, all my social media is on Facebook okay. um, and Instagram. Okay. Um, I, at this time, don't have any um, songs online, and not that's going to be when my CD drops, probably in March or April. Okay. And then I'll be on iTunes and all the good stuff. And I'll let everybody know through social media. Um, where, where and what I'm going to be doing. Also, another thing um, that I forgot to tell you, um, I got hooked up with Nine Line, uh, Nine Line Apparel, which I don't know if you're familiar with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great group of people, great people. Um, they gave me an opportunity um, a little less than a year ago uh, to pair up with them. Um, they're sponsoring a lot of my music. Oh, that's uh, great. My merchandise. Yeah. Um, I've got T-shirts and hats being made. This hat here is, is my logo. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's very cool. It's cool yeah. stuff, man. Yeah, it's cool they're, stuff. They're a great company, and yeah. hopefully in the future, they're growing tremendously and fast. Yeah, they are growing fast. So, yeah. um, hopefully, our relationship will will keep growing, and uh, you know, I just want to throw that out there too. Okay. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, I'm on all that right now. And you have the you'll be on YouTube as soon as the new CD comes out, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, we'd like to have, thank you for coming on this week's thank show. Thank you, my friend. And I uh, look forward to hearing you play. Thank you. Well, that was awesome. Thank you, Jason, for having us into your home and for being on the show. You know, I'm glad to hear that another Savannah musician is recording an album, uh, even though this one's recorded in uh, Nashville, uh, like Daniel Hicks was recording in L.A. We do have studios here in Savannah, and one of those is called Elevated Basement. So we're looking forward to meeting up with Shane Baldwin, hopefully on our next show. So um, tune in soon to see Shane Baldwin here on the most excellent musical monster jam.